What's going on, Bear Handians? I am Bear Hands, and today it's all about the King's Cup Challenge. This will be my first time, so I get one free entry into this interesting new concept, and we're going to give it a try, see how well we can do or how poorly we can do. Enjoy the ride. All right, we don't know what deck we're gonna have, but that's okay. Oh, what do we got? We've got the Golem. Interesting, the Elixir Collector. Some archers coming at us. Our Musketeer's gonna take them out. All right, this first part of the game's just gonna kind of be figuring out exactly what we want to do here. We want to take out this for sure before I could get a shot off, and I'm just gonna back this up with some archers, seeing as he just did his zap spell there. I really don't like that I'm sitting on a poison spell. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this elixir collector in the back because I feel like in order for me to get this golem working uh, right now, I'm gonna need that elixir pump. Coming in hot, so let's go ahead and throw this down. Let's go ahead and log here so that our ice spirit will hit this balloon. It's not going to give us enough time, though. I should have probably poisoned there. He's going to bring our tower all the way down to 594. Uh, and I'm going to set up another elixir pump. He's going to do a good job of bursting down our air there. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a musketeer here to stop this witch. And stop the witch we do. Although I don't have my Musketeer to deal with the balloon at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down... This is really daring. I'm going to go ahead and throw down my Golem here. And my... Oh man, that hurts. I'm going to go ahead and throw down my Minion Horde also. Too soon on the Minion Horde. So what I'm going to have to do is just poison all of this stuff that's coming here. Terrible poison spell also. Wow, playing really poorly. We're just going to see if we can defend this. I'm going to get a money log here. Hit the giant. The log's going to... Okay, so we defended pretty decently. So I'm going to go ahead and back up this musketeer. Throw down another poison. Get the archers going. Okay, the musketeer ends up locking on. We're going to take care of that giant. We're going to do a log here, which was unnecessary. I would say he would want a balloon, so I'm going to go ahead and drop my elixir pump in the middle there. Uh, not going to be close enough to draw the balloon, but he does a weird rage spell there on his side of the map and good game Zadarius on the first round okay all right I'm heating up here we got win number one let's go into number two see how we're doing oh uh, this guy doesn't even have a clan Ooh, an expo deck yes I was just playing with an expo deck earlier it's always a random deck that's awesome every single time it's a random deck oh no Oh no, the game is frozen. <laughs> so we're gonna do the swipe up. Okay, we didn't get a loss. Let's go ahead and jump in. I really wanted that expo deck though. All right, no expo deck. We got the hog freeze. Interesting. Interesting, hog freeze. Uh, I like the skeletons here as a nice setup. Let's go ahead and throw it in the back here. What do I have for a princess? I don't know. Let's just go ahead and go all in over here on this side here. Nice fireball there. Interesting. Let's get this over here. Let's get this over here. I can see myself doing some good chip damage on this. Ooh, we soaked the damage with the knight. The knight is so awesome. The knight is such a good card. I'm going to go ahead and poison here. Just because I'm sick of that princess. 
And if he's generous enough to throw the bowler down on the left side again, we might go for a hog freeze again. No? There it is. Let's go hog Valkyrie again. That's weird. It didn't, uh... Didn't back that up. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Let's freeze here. Oh, that was terrible. That's just miserable. He is going to eat that tower. And I placed the knight at the worst possible place. Uh, my only saving grace here is that the expo really struggles against taking out a tower once you've taken out one of theirs. So we're just going to let that expo kind of run its course. Let's throw this down to kind of trickle over on the other side. Let's go ahead and throw this down over here. See if this ice wizard hits. It does. And then we're going to go hog. Knight in the middle. Nice. Let's see if we can't distract the mini P.E.K.K.A. over here. Look at that. Okay, so we took that damage. We took that damage on the tower. We didn't not that we, we didn't take damage on the tower. We dealt some really good damage to the tower. Then we're gonna get a Valkyrie over here. Valkyrie's gonna soak a ton of damage and then check out his tower over on the left side. He is just he is just letting it sit there. Let's go ahead and throw this down. Let's go ahead and throw this down as a distraction. And then all I have to do is poison over here. Ooh, that princess right in the poison's battle. Good game. Good game, sir. Good game, well played. Okay, we're 2-0. Oh. How about it? Jump into battle number three. Mr. Kevin, Average Joe's. Let's hope he's an Average Joe. Balloon Rage Witch. Mmm. You, like, almost don't even have enough time to look at the cards. Let's go ahead and throw the baby dragon in the back. Go ahead and throw this here. Maybe a little overboard there. He gets a hit off with... He gets a hit off with his hog, which is unfortunate. And then his ice wizard, thankfully, is going to target the baby dragon, but our minions are all going to crowd around it. And then we're going to get significant damage. Look at... The, oh my goodness! Look at the damage over on the right-hand tower. I'm Getty. Okay. Then he's going to throw a bowler down. Interesting. Let's get a... I know a bowler is a hard counter to the witch. Uh, but, you know, we don't even care. We're going to throw this down, this down. The archers will tank a shot. Let's go ahead and stop the hog from getting massive... Oh, the hog didn't even get a shot off there. Wow, guys, check it out. Okay, I felt really good about that. Let's see if we can get some... Oh, nope, he, he throws down an Ice Wizard. I feel really great about that. I'm going to kind of tank with the Ice Wizard here, let it lock onto my tower, and then check it out. Let's go Balloon, Minions, Rage Spell. And then get our Zap ready for these. Zap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get to the tower. Get to the tower. Get to the tower. Oh... It didn't get to the tower, but our minions are going to clean up the tower. Alright. What do we want to do? We kind of want to get a... Do some uh, burst damage to the hog here. The archers should deal a good amount of damage there. Maybe I should have got the archers a little bit further over on the left side. Let's start up a slow push with the witch over here. I know he wants to push our right-hand tower, which will allow us to just defend with this baby dragon. And then check this out. We could go Balloon, Minions, Rage Spell. And at this point, the Balloon is going to just rush right over to the tower. Pow! Hit the tower. And our Witch is... Wow, we killed the Bowler at the tower. That was incredible. I know he wants to play Hog again, so I'm going to play a little bit of defense here. Splash away, but the Hog is going to do work. Look at that freeze that he gets off there. That's incredible. Uh, and at this point, 
I need to uh, get some tricky Ricky stuff here. So I'm going to throw this down, this down, this down, enrage. I know he wants to play the cannon, but it's not going to be enough. The cannon is just not going to be enough, and we're able to sneak into that tower. Didn't have a defense to pull that hog off to the side, and he was just freezing us like crazy, but it's okay if we were able to take his other tower. Good game. Let's jump into game number four. Maybe I'll do this in, like, four game segments. Okay, is this the same deck? This looks similar. Mr. Vincent, what you got, sir? Oh, no. Okay, the Dark Prince is going to hit there, but it's not going to be enough. I, if he uses that furnace well... I do not know how I'm going to get through the furnace with the balloon. But we'll find out here. Let's throw our witch down. She'll get some skeletons to stop those fire spirits. Then the witch is going to splash away those minions. And she's going to get some more skeletons to soak that. Nice. She does a good job of shutting that down. And then if you know... Wow, look at that. She is getting some worth. All right, check this out. Boom, boom, boom. I'm not too concerned with the Dark Prince, but I am going to throw these Fire Spirits down to kind of negate that. And check it out. Tower number one is down. Down for the count. The balloon's going to get all the way to his tower. That's awesome. And let's go ahead and get the Witch down so she can spawn her skeletons in time to stop that Fire Spirit there. Okay. I just need to play really good defense, and I feel like I should be able to do that with the Valkyrie Witch combination. Archers will be good here. Archers are excellent against small units. Lumberjack right now. Let's go ahead and throw these down. Okay, the minions, though I kind of missed there with that, the minions are going to do a good job. Uh, wow, his minions get a couple shots off there. And then we're just going to start a tank here in front of the tower so the fire spirits don't splash. And then boom, boom. Maybe a terrible play there. Was this a terrible play? He does a, a lightning spell, which means he doesn't have enough elixir right now to do much of anything significant. Let's go ahead and zap here. Take care of that. Fire Spirit over on these uh, skeletons. That was a good defense. 25 seconds. I don't think he could get through to us in 25 seconds. But we have to make sure his tower... We have to make sure that his tower doesn't... Uh, my tower. We have to make sure my tower doesn't get down too far here. Because he has the lightning spell. So 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... And good game. Good game well played. That was good stuff. That was good stuff. Maybe I'll take it to six. If I win six in a row, maybe I'll do six at a time. Take it all the way to 12 on my next. Whoa, Dark Prince Skarmy. Uh, this is what we just played against. Which isn't helpful because uh, we did a really good job there. All right. Get the fire spirits going over on the side that he has that elixir pump. Okay, it's able to splash there. And let's go Dark Prince Minions. Wow. Okay, Lightning. Wow, check it out. Okay, so our Lightning kills his Elixir Pump and his two of the three Musketeers there. And then what I'm going to do here is just throw this down, throw the Archers down. Oh, his Musketeer did not die, and he does an excellent zap there. So we need to get the Skarmy down to help. Wow, 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 wow. And our tower is gone. This man just dragon rushed me to death. Holy cow. Okay, not good. I was feeling really good about that. Man, what could I have done against the Minion Horde? Yikes. I feel obligated to push his right tower now. Feel obligated. 
He shouldn't have a minion horde in rotation right now, I don't believe. So let's go Dark Prince Lumberjack. Interesting. He rotates around to the minion horde. Our fire spirits are going to splash it away. Good. And now let's do some chip damage here. I want him to zap. You gonna zap? He does zap, and now let's go. Let's go all in over here. What does he have? He's got them. One, two, three. Bam. Okay, so we're doing some good chip. Let's go ahead and throw this here. He has a mirror! Holy cow, he's got a mirror. Okay, so what we need to do is... Rage. Here. You know he's gonna zap. I know he's gonna zap. But, check it out. We're able to deal huge amounts of damage right there. And let's go ahead and rush over here. What is going on? Holy moly. Okay, so he does an excellent job there. Let's go ahead and lightning. One, two, three. Stop this over here. The fire spirits are going to do a decent job, but we literally just could not get through the wall of three musketeers there. How did he have enough elixir to play a lick? Like, that was like five three musketeers in a row, it felt like. That was insane. Okay, caught us off guard. He caught us off guard. Let's jump into one more battle. See if we can't get up to win number five. We've got our first loss, and we've got the expo deck that we've wanted all along. Next, let's see how you do against the expo. Let's start off with a slow princess in the back. Got an itch on my nose here. He throws the uh, golem down, so we're just going to go ahead with a quick expo over here. And what does he have for it? I'm going to throw the bowler down. He logs. The bowler is going to deal wonderfully with that musketeer. And then we need the skeleton army over here for the golem. And then once the golem kills all my skeletons, we want to get the mini P.E.K.K.A. over here on the golemites. Then the expo is going to clean up those archers and check it out. We've got a good start to this game. Now, ideally with a deck like this, we can just sit back and play defensive for the rest of the game. Uh, even though he has... I'm going to wait, wait, wait. Let's go. That's some money on a fireball. Let's get an expo in the middle. Then let's go ahead and get a bowler down. The ice spirit is going to freeze our ice spirit. Oh, wow, he misses everything with the log. That, uh, wow. Okay, so the golem is going to go down here with doing minimum damage to the tower. I'm going to go ahead and throw a mini P.E.K.K.A. down here just to throw pressure on him. Let's get some pressure going. The mini P.E.K.K.A. The mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to run up to the tower and hit it one, two, two full times. And then our bowler is going to hit the tower with our princess bringing it all the way down to 642, which allows us to rush an expo, see if he could get the golem down in time. He cannot. And we have got an interesting turn of events. Ooh! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to throw the bowler down over here on the right to deal some damage to that elixir pump, and then we are just going to skeleton army this musketeer, and I am feeling very confident about this game. Let's go ahead and get a nice spirit down over here. Let's zap these archers. The archers are going to get decimated. And we are going in for a three crown win with the Expo. Why can't we play with this deck all the time? That was awesome. <laughs> His only chance really was to block the Expo with the Golem because it pretty much neutralizes it. The Expo just does not do a ton of damage. King's Cup Challenge, a number six win. I don't like this deck. And we're playing against the King of Kings. Let's start a slow night here in the back. I'm going to soak this damage.
We're playing the same deck. No, no, not Ice Wizard. That was supposed to be a free spell. <clears throat> lies. All lies. Okay, when he plays his hog, uh, I need to make sure that I get my skeletons down. This little tombstone here with the hand up. And I am anticipating him. Oh, he threw it on the other side. So let's go ahead and throw this down. And then we want to get our knight over here on the ice wizard. He freezes the tombstone, which I don't know if he was trying to time that with the... If he was trying to time freezing that with the skeletons popping out, but he did it all wrong. And then our bowler ice wizard over on his left side, as well as our knight bashing that tower all the way down. We're going to freeze here. <sighs> Look at that. Check that out, guys. All right, I'm guessing a hog is coming or some small units. Our bowler is going to be able to deal with that easily. And I just need to be really careful about his free spell. I mean, really, at this point, I can poison out his right-hand tower in three poisons. Get rid of that. Can we get a hit off on the tower over here? We can get a hit off, and let's go ahead and throw the tombstone down over here. It is going to draw that. We are going to throw our knight down. Let's go ahead and get our ice wizard in the back over here. And now we have a push of the century coming on here, which he poisons all of it. Excellent job. Uh, but then we have a hog running down the lane here. And if he throws his Inferno Tower on the map, too late. We're going to freeze. And the hog is going to make short work of that. Then it's going to run over. Hit one, two, and get a hit off on the King's Tower. No, not quite. That would have been the most epic hog ever. Go ahead and throw this down and then poison. Unfortunately, the poison is not slowing anymore. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and get the bowler down in front of everything here. He is going to do a, a good job poisoning there, but he's playing a little bit too hard into the bowlers. And I haven't seen him. Has he played a bowler yet? He has not. And we're just going to call it there. King of Kings, good game. Well played. And what does that put us at? What does that put us at? Six wins with one loss. So if we play like that again, we should end this out with 12 wins and two losses, right? That will be next time. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and continue recording, but I'll split this up into two segments. And so I hope you enjoy this video. If you liked it, leave me a thumbs up. I hope you guys are enjoying the King's Cup Challenge. Again, this is my first time trying it, and so we're going to see how far we can get on the first try throwing down these uh, generated decks. <sighs> And they're all new to me. So I hope you guys are having fun with it. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe so you can come back for more Gaming with Bare Hands. Appreciate it so much for your support. And I hope to see you next time. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome night. Have an awesome morning. Whatever you're having, make it awesome.